So this first DIY is a fun vase that I think would look great in your bedroom or living room. So you're gonna need to pick up two different vases from Dollar Tree. Next, I wanted to do a fun paint pour technique on the smaller vase. Lately, I've been noticing in a lot of high-end decor, a lot of metallic colors that seem to be really popular right now. I also like to use those small Dixie cups because they're great for mixing up paint. So I'm gonna start with my base, which is usually always white paint. I put a little bit of white shimmer paint in there, and then I also added in a little bit of white chalk paint. Whenever I do a base for my paint pour, I like to add in just a little bit of water and mix that together. I find that it helps the paint to run a little bit better. Then I'm gonna come in with a variety of metallic paints. I had golds, rose golds, silvers, and I just added those all to my cup. I also kind of mix them around, but this is preference, so you can either mix them around or you can just keep them stationary. So whenever I start a paint pour, I get out something that I don't mind all the paint dripping on and putting that down first. Next, I got a little throwaway plastic plate to put down, and then I put my vase upside down on top of that. From there, I'm just gonna start by pouring the paint down over my vase. As I was doing this, it was a little bit more white than I was wanting it to be because I used quite a bit of white paint. I just added a few of those metallic colors to my container so that I could pour them back on. So if you see a color that you want more of, just keep adding until you get that desired look that you want. The real magic is when that paint just kind of trickles down and you get those fun little shapes. Now leave this sitting almost overnight. Like you don't wanna mess with it. Allow the paint to just kind of pour the rest of the way off. When you come back to it in the morning, it's gonna look amazing. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take that smaller vase and put it inside of the larger vase. And here is how this piece turned out. Next, we're gonna be making a hanging planter. I love the way hanging planters look. They're great for like a corner of your office. You could also put them in your kitchen and bathrooms are great for these as well because sometimes bathrooms are small and you don't have a lot of room to decorate. So you could put one of these kind of maybe over like in your toilet area. That's a great option for these as well. So you're gonna take any small container. This is one I actually picked up at the thrift store and I'm gonna spray it with two coats of a flat black spray paint. Now to create the hanging portion of my planter, I wanted to use some faux leather. I was wasn't able to find any at Dollar Tree and I went online and found this whole pack of faux leather on Amazon that I probably could use for a ton of projects for super inexpensive. I'll link to it down in the description box for you guys if you want to check it out. I'm going to use this medium faux leather color. So I'm going to start by cutting out a square that's going to fit up nicely around my planter. Next I wanted to create holes on the edges of the square that I cut out. So I'm just gonna use my scissors and my wire cutters to cut a little hole. Now I don't want it to be too big because I'm actually trying to put in some nautical rope in there and if it's too big, the nautical rope's just gonna pull through. So I did kind of a smaller hole. Next, I'm gonna be using my nautical rope. This again, I'll link for you guys. You guys know I use this all the time, but I'm gonna cut off a long strip. I'm actually gonna make four strips to use for this project. I'm gonna pull the nautical rope through. The faux leather I wanna show is actually gonna be placed on the bottom. Once I pull the rope through, I'm gonna tie it in a knot on the bottom. I'm gonna repeat this with all three of my other sides. Now, once I get all the rope through, I'm going to put my planter in the middle. I'm gonna cut off any extra string down at the bottom of my knots. And the plant that I'm gonna be using is one that I love from Ikea. It's this big hanging plant. It's usually out this time of year, but it's around five, six dollars. It's so great, you guys. I have several of these. If you have an Ikea, I would definitely pick it up. So I'm gonna put that plant in the middle. I'm gonna pull up on my planter just to kind of see how it looks. I'm gonna tie those together. And here's how this planter looks hanging up. I just think it's adorable. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.